Tonight, we begin with two protests happening on Delmarva. Coast to coast, our country is seeing protests following the death of George Floyd, who died while in police custody in Minneapolis. Those protests continue on Delmarva. WBOC's Faith Woodard joins us now live outside the Pocomoke Police Department. And Faith, this protest is being organized by locals, but in coordination with the police department. Todd, we are about 30 minutes away from this protest. As you said, it's a coordinated effort with locals and the police department. Now, we're not really seeing those big crowds out here just yet, but that will soon change. If you take a look, people are already starting to trickle in. We see people with their signs. Some say Black Lives Matter. Some say hands up. Obviously, people are out here just to make their voices heard. Now, we already spoke with the Pocomoke police chief about why he's so adamant about letting people make their voices is heard, but in a safe uh, manner, just so people can come out here and express their just frustration with um, police officers and the death of George Floyd. I actually have a local here who is an event organizer, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what inspired her to organize this protest. After seeing George Floyd's murder on social media, TV, everywhere, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. I felt like I had to do something. I have two teenage, a teenage son, 11 year old. I have brothers, a husband, a dad, and I just think it needs to end. And so obviously people are out here just going to express their frustrations, but obviously doing so in a safe manner. The police officers say that everyone will need to just social distance while they're out here. Obviously wear, wear masks, do not bring backpacks out here, but this is a local effort between the police department and locals out here just expressing their distaste with George Floyd's death. Reporting live in Pocomoke, Faith Woodard, WBOC News, Delmarva's news leader. All right, we are joined once again by WBOC Faith Woodard in Pocomoke, where a rally is happening tonight. Faith? Todd, we are about five minutes away from this protest starting. The plan is for protesters to gather here and just really express their distaste with what's going on with George Floyd's death. Um, the plan is to come here to this local police department and then walk to a local park where there will be a vigil held for George Floyd. Now, if you take a look, we're already starting to see some big crowds here today with people um, with Black Lives Matter signs. There's also people who have signs that say I can't breathe. So we're starting to see some big crowds here uh, so far. I do want to walk and take you over to a local teacher to tell you a little bit about why she's out here today. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what inspired you to get involved and to come out here with your sign? Um, I, th I mean, I think my sign says it all. It's not my story to tell. It's not my narrative. Clearly, it gets me extremely emotional. Um, so what I can do right now for my students and my family and my friends and my brothers and sisters of color is to literally shut my mouth and listen. And when you heard about everything that happened, I mean, what was your initial reaction? <sighs> Helplessness. You know, I, I, I don't know what to do. Um, and it's not about me. And it's hard for me to try not to heal and fix as an educator and a mother. Um, that's what I want to do. And right now, right now at this moment, this is what I can do. And so, so far, a lot of protesters have just been telling us that, you know, this is everyone's fight. Obviously, they're saying that this will be a safe and nonviolent protest, but we will keep you updated as things start uh, transpiring. Reporting live in Pocomoke, Faith Woodard, WBOC News, Delmarva's news leader.